Hello. We are at uh, Burden Falls Wilderness. Um, fixing to do the Burden Falls Trail, or at least check it out. We're on top of a little bluff right here, so I'm going to show you when we get some better scenery. It's pretty neat. So I'm pretty sure that's. Burden Falls, and then right where we parked is a little upper part. Not much flow right now, but check out this bluff. That's that's pretty cool. So we're gonna follow the trail around, and then uh, the guy I was just talking to said that uh, uh, we can follow it down to the bottom and then look back at it. So. What you got, Ru? Oh, stand oh, stand on that one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's slippery in a lot other little spot. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty awesome little bluff over there, isn't it? The muddy spots are pretty slippery, but we are trying to work off a little bit of our lunch, so uh, um, if you're in uh, Eddyville, Illinois, and stop at uh, Shotgun Eddie's, I do recommend the Reuben Burger. It's uh, quite the sandwich. Bright light. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're still just following the, the bluff uh, to get to the bottom of the fall. A nice little little trail. Um, some pretty good slick spots, so be careful there. And now we're back on dirt instead of the limestone. Nice little nice little spot. Yeah. So we're starting to turn. That's pretty over here though. Some nice boulders. We're starting to turn and work our way downhill now. So we're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You down? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're in a wilderness area. So Sorry, I gotta lend a shoulder for her to balance on. Stop me from falling. So we're not a. There's not gonna be many blazes or signage or anything like that. But it's pretty obvious where we need to go so far. Now, we've made it down to flatter ground. That's the uh, bluff line we've been walking and the. Hill we just came down. It's pretty steep from that uh, laying down tree at the top of it all the way down to where we're at now. But heading back towards the waterfall is a uh, little creek. Yeah. So we are just talking, just on the way back. She wants to explore the bluff line, and this is pretty cool. That's the one that we just walked over the top of. Yeah. A little icicle fall, so they must stay in the shade most of the day. Oh, it's cool up there. I have to show you those too. Okay, so bear with me. Uh, you can probably pick them out. Look underneath the sun. But there's some pretty cool icicle up there. 
pretty, isn't it? Look how clear the water is. There's a couple of people on the other side of this boulder, so I'm trying to scoot around them. See if we can't get close to the waterfall, though. Not a lot of flow today, but it's pretty just the same. I think the ice adds an extra cool element to it. There we go. Burden Falls in the Shiny National Forest, Southern Illinois. That was pretty neat. We are, she wants to follow the bluff line for a ways out of here, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Get up some place. I bet you this pile of leaves, though, is eight to ten inches thick right here. And very steep. All right. Now that's what she wanted to do, but I don't know if her knee wants her to do it. Man, there's some pretty cool places up here. Well, this little spot right here could warrant a couple good hours of exploration. I have lost my wife. This nice boulder here makes a great walled area. And, and there's the creek where the waterfall and stuff is. I wonder where she went to. Apparently Mim was here. It's a big old piece of rock. Now my wife, she's down here by this, right in there. Yeah, just follow along this way, Ruthie. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There's there's, hidey holes here. yeah, oh yeah, there's all kinds of hidey holes up here. I can't read it very well. Uh, looks like somebody's old spray painted message. Uh, I can see an O, a D. Looks like maybe an H and an E, and then a couple other ones that are rounded letters, but I don't know what they are. I just kind of glanced into that. Pretty neat little bluff. Uh, right here, just past where the triangular rocks point back at the main rock, there's some turquoise colors I've been finding pretty fascinating. Trying to work my way over there to see what they are all about. Yeah. It's just, it's just some lichen. From where I was at, it looked like it was just some kind of stain in the rock, so it's pretty cool though. It was worth climbing up here for. Now I gotta figure out how to get back down. Man, <laughs> I wish my back was better. I would have just crawled right through there for the fun of it. Just 
just to have crawled through it. That's pretty neat. And guess I gotta catch up with her. She's been hollering for me. What you find, Rufy? Okay. Well, that's pretty neat. Okay, so there's the main trunk of the tree. And then right there, look how it is uh, like grown around the rocks that probably slid down and banged into the side of it at one time. That's a pretty awesome bluff line. The second or third one I've seen. Somebody's got some little orange tape markers for some reason or the other. Uh, hold on, I gotta. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Other little swirls. Pretty nice little get out of the weather shelter. An old fire ring. Some Bible verses. And then some other yellow graffiti. Putting them aside, it's a pretty nice little little ledge. Overhang. We are leaving the bluff face behind and trying to catch back up with the trail we came in on. That was a pretty neat little excursionary explore. Really, just makes you want to come out here with no agenda and just walk the bluff. That's pretty neat. Alright, here we go back up the hill. That's pretty neat. Um, sorry the waterfall wasn't any, uh, had any more flow than it did, but overall it was a pretty cool little explore. Killed our afternoon, worked off our lunch. It's just pretty good. So I'm gonna end this here, because this, this little trail that we're on, uh, walking up bluff again, is just gonna dump right into the parking lot. So there's uh, nothing, really to show you. I want to thank you for coming along. It's late February day and uh, we'll see you next time.